Hi everybody, I know it's been a real, real long time since I did my last video. In fact, it's over a year and I must apologise, but my life has been a little bit awkward over the last 12 months or so. And then of course we've had lockdown as well. So yeah, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Anyway, what I want to do is I want to tell you how much my dreadlocks have changed since my last video. The first thing you may have noticed is I'm quite a few dreadlocks short. During the summer, summer it got real. Someone's at my door. During the summer, it got really, really hot, and my dreadlocks on the side of my head had grown really, really thick, and I. It was just too hot for me and so I made a decision to go and get my friend to cut some of them off and shave the sides of my head and it's made such a difference especially when I'm trying to sleep at night I can pull my dreadlocks out of the way put my head on the pillar and I've got not got that uncomfortable lumpy feeling on the side of my head where my dreadlocks are and my sleeping is so much better now I've done that. Um, it was a bit of a hard decision to make and I do have the dreadlocks that have been cut off saved just in case I decide that maybe I want to put them back, let my hair grow and put them back on. But I can't see it to be honest, I do like my hair as it is. The other thing that I did was I'd got some dreadlocks that had congered and they turned into really, really thick dreadlocks. And they were getting very heavy. They were pulling on my scalp. So what I did was uh, a friend of mine who looks after my dreadlocks, she cut them off about that far down and um, opened all the roots up so it was just loose hair. And then she took some of my thinner dreadlocks that had come off the sides and joined them up and uh, that's made a big difference as well especially when it comes to washing my hair and getting my hair dried some of these thicker dreadlocks really really took a lot of lot of drying in the winter it was awful two days or more to get them dried and I was worried about them getting a bit mouldy and things like that so uh, yeah, that's what I've done to my dreads in the last... Oh, the cats are going mad. That's what I've done to my dreads in the last 18 months or so. Um, I feel so much better for it. I feel a lot happier about my dreadlocks. Um, they are getting really long now, as you can see, right down here. Uh, I'm getting a lot of comments, people saying, oh, I love your hair and uh, I love your dreadlocks and everything else and 90% of the time I love mine, 10% of the time they annoy me a little bit but generally speaking I love my dreadlocks especially since I've shaved this off the side. Now if you consider doing that yourself I wouldn't worry about it, I would really go for it. If you're having problems sleeping, putting your head on the pillow, uh, your scalp getting hot or the hair is, or the dreads are pulling your scalp a lot, I would seriously consider doing what I've done. But I know it's not for everyone. Anyway, I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. I promise, 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 I'm not going to be so long making my next dreadlock video. And hopefully, I will see you in the next video very shortly. Bye, everybody.